Hello people of the internet. This is supposed to be a very small tutorial on how to get started in C++. If you want more detailed version of this same tutorial you can check out other videos but this is supposed to be an extremely short video giving you some brief introduction to things that I think you should know before we proceed further to object oriented programming. Also check out my another video on how to install IDE if you have never programmed before because that will help you get started by installing IDE on your computer which in return will also install a compiler for you so that you can start writing codes on C++. So here are some basics of C++. C++ program always starts with a main function. The main function can have any return type. Usually you would see integer, void but it can be anything you'd like. Before you write the main function, you might want to include some files to the program and you can do that using hashtag or pound sign include and putting your file names either in angular brackets or double quotes. That depends upon what kind of file that you're trying to include. A function in C++ can be returned as follows. The function can call itself and this is called recursion. I believe it is one of the strongest concept in programming and if you want to learn more about it check out my video on recursion. The pound sign or the hashtag sign lets you define or include any necessary stuff that you want to include in your program. It can either be an entire file or just a value to a variable. For example, include ioStream will include a file named ioStream to our program so that we'll be able to do some input output operations. If you want to print something to the screen, you can use std colon colon cout. For example, you can do std colon colon cout and type in whatever you want to print on the screen. If you want to take the value from the user, you can use std c in and just give the name of the variable. The value that it takes in would depend upon the type of variable that you have defined before. To learn more about variables and the data types, you can check out my other videos. STDC in breaks its value by space. If you want to get the whole line from the user, then you can use something called getLine function. Let's have a look at a sample program. In this program, I have included a file called iostream. First, it will let me take inputs and print outputs on the screen. Now, after that, I have my main function. It have a return type int. That's why I have a return zero as my last statement in the function because if everything went successfully i just want this function to return zero saying that everything was run successfully the first thing that i'm doing in the main function is declaring a variable and i have named this variable to message and its type is std stream this variable contains the value this statement is false just think about that for a second and then it prints out on the screen think about this for a second and whatever was in the variable which is this statement is false and the std end up after that i again have stdc out to print something on the screen batman or superman that's the question that it will ask on the screen and it will try to take a user input using stdc in and put that value in message variable that we have defined before Whatever was in the message will get replaced by whatever answer the user types in. It will only take the value up to where the, uh, either there is a space or new line character. So if you simply happen to type again Batman or Superman in your response, it will only take the Batman part because before or and Batman, between or and Batman, there is a space. So it will only take the Batman part of it. And after that, it will print out stdc out message with std in, and it will print out the message. And that message is going to be whatever the user input uh, as the answer to the question Batman or Superman. Now, after that, I have done stdc in dot ignore. I'm calling a method ignore here to see in because we want to flush whatever the input was entered before. I might talk more about that in the future video, you just don't need to know a lot about it right now. Then again it will print out on the screen the first rule of Fight Club is and it will take a line as an input through standard input and put that value in the message variable again. 
then it will print out second rule of fight club is and it's just going giving you the information saying that it is using get line and the message is going to be whatever the first rule of fight club is std and l is just basically saying that whatever i'm printing on the screen just print out make sure that whatever i'm going to print next is going to be on the next line and like i said return zero will end the program there are two ways in which you can run this program the first one is probably the easiest one where you just have to copy and paste this to your ide code blocks i talked about how to install code blocks on mac windows and linux on my previous video just to go check that out and run it from there the second method is copy and paste it on any text editor save this file with .cc or .cpp extension and compile it with g++ there's the sample output and the way that i've compiled is in the first line you can do g++ your program name dash o your output file name and you can run that output file name in the next line and you start typing in the input that it is asking for and it will give you the desired output very easy right and that is all that's the entire program you must get some idea about what c++ is doing here and how it is being interpreted by just this very small tutorial if this video helped you give that like button a click subscribe if you have any thoughts put them down in the comments below and you guys are awesome for watching this video